Everyone who wins the BMF belt gets knocked out badly in their next fight. Masvidal won the belt and then got knocked out by Usman in his next fight. Gaethje won the belt and then got knocked out by Holloway in his next fight, which earned Holloway the belt. And then he got knocked out by Teporia in his next fight. Uh, Masvidal uh, got the BMF title, then he was knocked out. Uh, Gaethje the same, then you the same. Do you feel that BMF belt is cursed? Nah, I mean, no, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it. I mean, it, it's just a, that's just a weird coincidence, I'd say. Hamza Chemaev got a quick tap from Robert Whitaker, so much so that a lot of people thought his jaw was messed up. Maybe he dislocated his jaw or something, but Whitaker says his jaw, thankfully, is okay. Thank you, everyone, for all the love and support. It's a tough gig sometimes, but that's the business. Big congrats to Hamza. He was the better man tonight. That's all there is to it. I felt great. Everything was on point, and I was ready. My jaw is good, but my teeth were moved in. It's a good excuse to fix them properly now. I'm disappointed, but come back better from every setback every challenge so this is no different with the very impressive victory there's a chance Hamza gets a title shot next it was assumed that Strickland was going to get it but Dana White says it could go to Hamza they're going to discuss this at their matchmaking meeting on Tuesday and if it is Hamza who gets the next title shot DDP says he's ready and confident that he's going to get the W feel very sorry for Rob he looks super ready but this is the fight game well done on a good performance Hamza that being said I can't wait to take your O I'd rather see Hamza versus DDP because we haven't seen that fight yet. We saw Strickland versus DDP. We see how it plays out. And although it's a good fight, I think Hamza versus DDP would be crazy. I'd like to see that one next. Which fight do you want to see next? DDP versus Strickland or DDP versus Hamza? Let me know in the comments. Dustin Poria says, I want Max with Tapuria. Tapuria at 155 right now wouldn't be a realistic possibility. Fighting Max at 155 would be a more realistic possibility. We, I hope it's not Dustin Poria's last fight, but I think if you can be his last fight and get one back, it would be set, but at the same time, you know, I wouldn't for you. Hey, that'd be nice. The Diamond, sign me up, bro. I love that guy. I got nothing but respect for the guy, but he is up 2-0 against my ass, and I don't have the best luck because I get people 2-0 against me, so I guess I got to try it again. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have a UFC belt, so the BMF can be something. Hey, hey, I like the way you think, but UFC needs to call your ass. <laughs> Chris Barnett says he didn't hurt himself during the fighter introductions. I got hurt with the spinning hook kick. Anything for a headline, I guess. Tapori is a 3 to 1 favorite facing Diego Lopez or Alexander Volkanovsky, but he's a 3 to 1 underdog facing Islam Mahachev. John Jones training with Gordon Ryan still a couple weeks out from his fight with Stipe. Some think maybe he's going to take the fight to the ground and look for a submission. I'm actually recovery for this week coming. Got a, a two more weeks of training left before UFC 309. I'm excited to go and do. Go outside. To, excited to go outside and do what we do best. That was awesome. Gordon, anything to the jiu-jitsu community, to the MMA community? November 16th, it's going to be uh, going for the books for sure. Oh yeah, baby. Take them down, we win. Dana White asked about Muhammad Makaev, who seems to want to get back into the UFC. He said that you guys now have a good relationship, and it's just some other people that are saying that bad things about him to you, but he hopes that the relationship could be mended and one day he could be back in the UFC. Yeah, listen, I have no problem with him. I've never had a beef with him, but <clears throat> I don't deal with him on a daily basis. If I did, maybe I would. Um, you know, the matchmakers did, didn't want to resign him. Huh? Oh, he lost? <laughs> Listen, I, I got no problem with the kid. PFL should sign him. <laughs> Is this the man to beat Alex Pereira? Talking about Magomed Uncle Live with zero takedown attempts. Good luck. I tend to agree. If he strikes with Alex, he'll probably get knocked out. But that's the fight that will happen next. Corey McKenna going to take some time off and heal up from some injuries after being cut by the USC. She also tells Dana White that if they make an atom weight division, to think about her. 
I'm broke, and I'm, I'm broke, but I, I, my money is gone, and I need to fight. So let's let's go. Then I want uh, some shop. Anybody does, uh, you know, I, I want to fight, guys. So like, uh, I, I I'm tired to see all those guys out far like two or three times in front of me, and I not be able to fight. So I, I need I need to get into into that. now man so I'm, I'm back home i just landed in uh grand rapids last night right tell me why a motherfucker come up to me and ask me he's like oh you're a ufc fighter i know you you're sean strickland but that's what we're doing now sean strickland Some of the media members at 308 were not only unprofessional and biased, but sometimes downright antagonistic and disrespectful to fighters like this one Russian reporter who was referencing Tapuria and Mahachev talking about a street fight. Through a translator, it sounds like he's basically telling Tapuria, what would you know about the streets? You're from Spain. What would you know about street fighting? You're not from Russia. What would you know about that? Они, а в 15 лет уже переехал в Испанию. Что ты можешь знать об улице? Спасибо. Question to Ilya. First of all, congratulations on, on winning the title. And before the, the title match, there was a couple of weeks ago when uh, you were asked a question about a fight with Mahachev and you said something about if we have to fight on the street, then I would have to pay his medical bills. The question is, what do you, what do you know about the street? Because you were born in Germany and then you moved to uh, Spain. So what would you know about that? <laughs> Can you speak in English, please? Thank you. Cartula, Taiji, the traductor, the Gadatan. Gadautar, when Ram Cartula comes with her. Oh. Ilya just asked, who bring this guy in this room? I've come by myself. So you, you're going to have to stand up and leave the room by yourself. Why, why, why is that? I'm sure there's a lot of great Russian reporters who applied for a credential for USC 308 but didn't get one. But they gave it to this guy who's basically not even asking a question, just throwing out an insult disguised as a question. What you know about streets, Spain boy? 308 conferences had some tense moments between reporters and fighters, which is a bit strange. Hamzad and the Australian reporter, Holloway and the Spanish reporter, Tapuria and the Russian reporter. So there's contentious moments between media and fighters. But on the other hand, there seems to be an ass-kissing party from media members in Dana White, where they're just coming up with more and more embarrassing and creative ways to suck his dick. Hi, first of all, I owe you an apology. I was one of the people that hated Power Slap. I did a commentary in Arabic for them last time, and my God, you're 100% right. We are all wrong. I respect you so much for seriously that Power Slap. Thank you, amazing. sir. It's like an no, it's, MMA, MMA. it's a different experience live. Especially, it's, it's yeah. entirely different. Thank uh, you. Now